Hi, everyone. So over the last couple of days, I put together a couple of videos on multi-level mediation in SPSS using Nicholas Rockwood's ML Mead macro. Um, now, you might be wondering how to actually install the macro. I, I think I pointed to this uh, website right here in my previous videos, but I thought I would quickly show you how uh, to easily install the macro for the custom dialog box. So when you go to this link right here, and I'll include it underneath my video description, you can click on this button right here for download ML Mead. So click on that, and then your uh, a zip file will be downloaded to your downloads folder. So this is it right here uh, in my downloads folder. I'm going to double click on it and then double click on this uh, box right here for ML Mead Beta 2. And you'll see that there are three files in here. One is for the user's guide. A second file is actually used if you want to use a syntax-based approach. But if you want the custom dialog box, you'll want to click on this, uh, this one right here. And actually what I'm going to do is I am going to copy this uh, to make this really easy. I'm going to copy this and then go back to the original downloads folder and paste it in. So this is it right here. So now what I'll do is I'll open up SPSS. I'm going to go to Extensions, go to Utilities, then go down to Install Custom Dialog, compatibility mode there. So under my downloads folder, you'll see this is it right here, and I will click on Open. And I already had the uh, macro installed, but it just says, do you want to overwrite the previous version? So I'll go ahead and click on OK. And so you can see now it says dialog files installed too. And it gives you the, the uh, path from analyze to mixed to ML Mead for uh, multi-level mediation. So if you want to take a quick look at it, uh, this is the path uh, to that. And so uh, you also have to have data <laughs> opened up in order to complete um, uh, to see the actual interface. Okay, so I just uh, actually opened up some data just to demonstrate uh, what it would look like. Uh, so if you go right here, uh, this path, this is the interface for performing the multi-level mediation. And so I go over uh, how to actually use this in the other video, so I'm not going to go over that for this one. But that's basically how you can quickly install the custom dialog box for performing multi-level mediation using the ML Mead um, macro. Thanks for watching.